factoring messy trinomials with greatest common factors. This is really just a reminder that we should always look for a greatest common factor first before we get into the factoring process. And so in this question, it looks like we have at least a factor of two, but actually we also have a factor of four. Each of those terms can be divided by four. So pulling four off the first term leaves me with three w squared. Four off the second term leaves me with plus two w. And 32 divided by four is negative eight. There we go. So now this is just a messy trinomial that I'm going to have to factor, just like we learned. So multiplying a and c, I get negative 24. So I need two factors that multiply to negative 24 and add to plus 2. So uh, we could try 12 and 2 are not going to work. But how, how about 4 and 6? If I do negative 4, positive 6, they add to 2 and they multiply to negative 24. So let's use those. So now we're just continuing this messy trinomial process but within these brackets because we have this factor of 4 outside. So now I factor by grouping. This first group has only a w in common, so that would be w times 3w minus 4. And in the second grouping I have uh, 2, so I'll do 2 times 3w minus 4. Perfect. Now I have my common binomials. So that's 3w minus 4 and w plus 2. And so you see the method's super similar. All we have to, basically this whole skill here is just a reminder to check for that greatest common factor. Same thing here. What do we have for greatest common factor? Well, it looks like we have x squared, but I'm also going to pull out a negative because I don't want my leading term here to be negative because it just sort of messes with the factoring process a little bit. So what if we pull out a negative x squared? What are we left with? Well, we have uh, 15x squared now plus 2x and then minus... Eight. And now this looks like a nice messy trinomial that we can do. 15 times negative 8 is going to be something large. In my calculator, I find that it's negative 120. And now we'll search for factors of negative 120 that might get us to add 2. And I'm going to try 12 and 10. I think this has a lot of potential to work. And if I was to do positive 12 and negative 10, I'd get the combo I need. We still have this common factor out front. That's 15x squared plus 12x minus 10x minus 8. And common factors, these guys have a 3x. And these two have a negative 2, and that's it. Perfect. That worked out. So you can see again, I've got my common. Uh, they, they each have the same binomial on each term. So there's that factor out front. And then I have 5x plus 4 and 3x minus 2. And there's my factor trinomial.